Good morning, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Indira Gandhi Memorial Trust, I welcome you to the award presentation ceremony of the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development for the year 2012. President Sirleaf, we are honored by your presence here today. We welcome you warmly to this ceremony where a prize commemorating one of India's most remarkable women is being conferred on another exceptionally remarkable woman who has touched and changed millions of lives. Your Excellencies, Your Excellency's entire life and public career serve as an example not only to the women of Africa, but to people across the world. Every recipient of this award has left an indelible imprint on history and made a difference to the lives of people, societies and nations. This year, we honor a person who not only meets those criteria, but also embodies the character, the convictions, and the courage of the personality after whom this prestigious award is named. She also holds dear the very same causes that were particularly important and dear to Srimati Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi Smarak Nyaska, Antarashri Nirnayak Mandal, Africa or Anne Sthano ki Mahilao ki liye, Udaharan or Predna Banne, Liberia me Shanti ki Bahali, Lok Tantrata, Vikas, Suraksha evam Vivastha ki Vapasi, Sunishchit Karne, or Bharat ke Sath Liberia ke Sambandho ko, संगठित एवं सुधारने के उनके दृढ़ इरादों के लिए राष्ट्रपति एलन जॉनसन सर्लीफ को शांति निरस्त्रीकरण और विकास के लिए वर्ष 2012 का इंदिरा गांधी पुरस्कार प्रदान करता है इट इज अ प्रिविलेज एंड ऑनर फॉर मी to present the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament and Development for the year 2012 to Her Excellency President Ellen Jensen Sardli for serving as an example and an inspiration to many a women in Africa and beyond and for ensuring the return of peace, democracy, and development in Liberia. The prize, instituted in the name of our former Prime Minister, late Srimuth Indira Gandhi, celebrates the values that Mrs. Gandhi stood and fought for in the service of our nation and people. This honor of the Indira Gandhi Peace Prize gave me a renewed impetus and commitment to remain ever steadfast in championing the cause of humanity, advocating for social justice, and the exercise by every person of their inalienable rights without precondition. My campaign is energized by this award, by your support and the support of the Indian subcontinent and all freedom-loving peoples around the world as we try to complete this joining. It is only when every human being lives in peace and security that development can flourish and the world and all its people can be at peace. We can make a difference in our world as agents of positive change. We have a duty to do so. You, me, all positive thinking men and women have a duty to show love, tolerance, 
and compassion towards one another. It is only when we regard every, crea every individual as a creation of God and accord them appropriate respect and love that we can all live peacefully on this planet. I thank you.